The SPDSX has been around for a while. Yeah. What are some of the uh, modern uses of it now? Well, like I've been doing, for instance, uh, you know, you can um, cut a song into different parts and spread those parts around on the samples, on the, on, the, on the pads, just from the internal sampling memory. But what I also do a lot is hook it up and uh, as a sound card to any of my laptops or desktop computer, because this is also a very powerful external sound card for your computer which you can use to watch movies do your emails and at the same time you will be able to use all the effect features of the SPDSX you want to see how, it, how oh, yeah. I do this yeah yeah okay well coincidentally we prepared a USB cable okay this is a normal USB cable it has one end and then there's also the other end any size goes okay so you just um, one end of the USB cable goes into the computer slot here on the back of the SPDSX and the other one you can just go directly into your laptop. Here we go. So this cable is now connected. Now as you can see the SPDSX goes into USB mode but that's not what we want to have when it actually is supposed to be used as a sound interface. So we have to do one more thing. So I'll exit the SPDSX here on the laptop because if you have it on the wave manager mode, the SPDSX will be recognized as an external hard disk which you can put your samples on. So let me just eject it again. Okay, cable goes out. And what you need to do in the SPDSX is go into menu here you go, into setup, and first you have to tell the SPDSX to, from now on, function as an audio MIDI interface, because it has a MIDI interface, but it also has audio interface inside. So now it will function, when I make the USB connection, it will act as an audio MIDI interface. So the same USB cable, let's just put it into the laptop, there we go. It's now in the laptop. And then let's just open up a project. I'm now using uh, Ableton Live. And what I, I'm gonna do is really simple. All the samples, all the sounds will be on the laptop, but I will actually play all those samples, command everything that need to, needs to be done in a laptop from the SPDSX. So on a live stage, I don't touch any of my laptop settings. I do everything from the SPDSX. That's what we're gonna do. It's really easy to set up. Here's Ableton. First thing we do is tell your computer that the SPDSX is gonna be your audio interface. So here it is, my audio input interface, automatically recognized through the USB connection. So I put this one on SPDSX. I do the same thing for my audio output, okay? When I go to MIDI, you will see that automatically the SPDSX is recognized for MIDI, tracks and remotes. So that means that when I hit a pad, it will actually command the laptop what I want it to do. So MIDI and audio is now all managed by the SPDSX. So let me just load a project. Uh, for instance, here, uh, smash up TD501705, why not? Okay, so it's like a combination of samples. And I have nothing connected software wise. So, this pad, for instance, nothing is reacting. So, I have my project open. There's a bunch of samples in here, like for instance, this. This is a bomb. So, I just need to you know, uh, push the space bar and my samples are going. Now I want to do this from the SPDSX. Mm -hmm. 
So I go into MIDI and I just assign, for instance, here, sample number one, this pad. Yep. Sample number two, this pad. And it's really easy to do. You just have to go on the sample or the collection of samples and it will automatically, when you hit the pad, it will automatically be assigned to the pad without transferring any audio to the internal SPDSX memory. You just need one USB cable and assign the SPDSX as your sound card. So you heard me starting that sample there. Now, So this is really the SPDSX sound interfacing for the laptop. See? That's it's incredibly okay. powerful. Yeah. And at the same time, you're able to use the effect. So there's no sound coming actually out of the laptop directly through the mini jack, which also always sounds like. Mm. This is now full resolution, CD quality 44.1, oxygen 16 bit sound interface with all the effects interacting with the laptop. That's why this is a success. Just one USB cable. There you go. <laughs>